And welcome back. We have the Central Pneumatic Abrasive Blaster Kit. Now, I recently picked this up from Harbor Freight. And for anyone who's expecting an unboxing, you're going to be disappointed because just like that, it's over. There is no unboxing. So, let's move on. Now, this blaster kit does come... Ooh, there's a piece of candy included. So let me get this out of here real quick and then we'll get back to the review really fast. You know, I always like when they include little gifts, like little candies. It's always a, you know, it's a nice touch and you wouldn't expect this from Harbor Freight. So yeah, you know, it's really... <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's like the worst candy I ever had. Yeah, don't eat this candy, guys. Uh, I'm definitely gonna write a bad review on Yelp about Harbor Freight because this is horrible. Okay, and moving on, this is the gun that came with the blaster kit. Now, right off the bat, you're just gonna feel that it kind of feels cheap and you know, chintzy. But you know, what do you expect for something uh, so inexpensive? You know, it's the point is it gets the job done. So, it does come with this tool right here, this uh, L Allen wrench, and that's basically just to remove this tip. It's already installed, and it, I checked the screws, they are nice and tight. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave them exactly where they're at. One thing I am going to do is take off this fitting that came with the gun and just switch over to one of those uh, quick connects. It just makes switching, uh, you know, taking it on and off of your air hose so much easier. So as you can see, there's some sort of O-ring on here. I tried to remove the O-ring, but it wasn't really coming off. So I just said, uh, forget it. Uh, you could definitely put Teflon tape on this if you wanted to, but I didn't seem to have any air leaks just leaving it like this. And let's take a closer look at the main uh, blaster kit itself. The body, it's all made out of plastic. It actually doesn't weigh much. When you pick up the box, you're gonna just, it almost seems like the box is empty. And look, look at this. Where's the quality control? I just don't understand. I guess the important thing is that the sticker is actually there. So let's look. Oh, great. They put the instructions way at the bottom. My little alligator hands just can't reach. Uh, almost. Uh, uh, dang. Anyways, it does come with instructions, so you want to make sure you read through the instructions if you're not familiar with how this tool works. And, uh, yeah. Now, this blaster kit does hold a maximum of 50 pounds, but I have this 25 pound 80 grit blast media, which is glass bead, and it's appropriate for what I'm trying to do. Basically, I have like, uh, you know, some metal, uh, parts off of cars that are really heavily rusted and I'm trying to get that rust off after doing some research I found that the glass bead works great for removing rust you know but they have other things like walnut shells and things like that so just make sure you get the right type of media that's gonna uh, you know suit your situation now let's get this media out of the box so we can get a closer look at it and Jesus Christ I can't even lift this thing I'm definitely writing a bad letter to Harbor Freight they really need to accommodate a grown man with the strength of a child and I'm not going to fill this thing up completely. I just want to get enough in there so I can get this thing working and give it a test. I want to see how well it works. And here's the air compressor that I'm using. As you can see, it's not really big, but it's not really small either. I did see a few other YouTube videos of people using this blaster kit from Harbor Freight, but they're using a much smaller air compressor. Something you would use to do like airbrushing. And I'm telling you right now, that tank is just way too small. The problem that comes with this is they start blaming the Harbor Freight blast kit, saying that it's junk and it doesn't work. When in fact, Number one, they're probably using the wrong blast media. And number two, they just have too small of an air compressor. Here's a before shot of the caliper that we're gonna attempt to clean up. So as you can see, I just got this kind of ghetto thing going on here where I'm just gonna be shooting into a box to try to, you know, not make too much of a mess. I did notice though, it got really dark inside of there and with these tinted glasses, I couldn't see much. So this uh, Milwaukee light really came in hand this time that I could just stick it right there onto my floor jack with its really strong magnets. So uh, that was really nice to have. And in this shot right here, if you see behind me, there's a small air compressor. And that's exactly the one I'm talking about that I've seen other people try to use on this blaster kit and it's just not going to cut it. If there's one thing I cannot stress enough, it's to use the correct PPE, personal protective equipment. You definitely do not want to be inhaling this stuff, so make sure you have the correct respirator. And the glasses that I have on have like all that foam around the eyes to kind of prevent anything from getting behind there. But I was still getting a little bit of the media behind the glasses and kind of irritating my eyes. But the absolute best thing to do is just to get one of those full face mask type of things. And just really be careful with this stuff, guys. And here's about 20 minutes of sandblasting. As you can see, it's not perfect, but it, 
it's working and it's working well i mean i'm pretty satisfied with it i have a bit more cleaning to do obviously but i'm really impressed so far and uh once it's all done and clean i'm gonna go ahead and spray it down with brake parts cleaner just to get any loose debris off of it okay so i did spend a little bit more time sandblasting it until i was satisfied and here's the first coat of primer and so far it looks great now here's the paint i'm going to be using to paint the caliber i know it's not part of the review for the blaster kit but your product is really dependent on how well you prep the item and i consider the blaster kit a major step as far as prepping goes and that's pretty much it guys so i'd like for you to leave a comment on what your thoughts are on this kit and how do you think the caliper turned out now if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're considering subscribing don't forget to hit that notification bell and like always thanks for watching